Good morning. April the 16th. Lovely Tuesday morning. Again, we have our morning session concerning the uh, certain genealogical events as commemorated today by the various imperial, royal, noble, and aristocratic families around the world. Second item on the agenda will be the daily search parameter. If you notice, then in the lower left-hand corner, you will see my name down there. But we're in Zoom, so you can change that name. Uh, below the video, you'll see a description of the commemorative events today. If you highlight that, hover your mouse over the highlighted portion and do a right click. It'll let you play back, and that will let you learn the correct pronunciation of all the various or family names, titles, so forth and so on. The second item, the daily search parameter. That's nothing more than a core of that hashtag. If you notice, like I say, down in the lower left-hand corner, you'll see my name, but we are on Zoom, so you can change that. I'm going to change it. Uh, I'm not going to exactly show you how I changed it. If you want to learn how to use Zoom, there's a whole course over on my YouTube channel to teach you the basics of it. Uh, it's a great program, uh, but back to the daily search parameter and it being a hashtag, it is a precisely formatted hashtag. I devised it that so that if you can use it in conjunction with any other thing that you may be searching on the web, it will show you what I may have posted on that same subject on any particular day. The format you use is the hashtag number sign, you know, a little tic-tac-toe sign, followed by my three initials, A-G-H, and that is followed by a six-digit number composed of three sets of two numbers each, always with no spaces. So the first two numbers will be the month of the year. The second two numbers will be the day of the month. And the third two numbers will be the year that you're searching yet. We're only using two because I wasn't around in 1924 to post anything. And the odds are pretty good. I'm not going to be around in 2124 to post anything. So we've got that in. We hit change. And now if you look in the lower left-hand corner, that is the daily search parameter for today. Now, if you use it right now, it's not going to show anything. This is the first thing I've used it on today. But if I mute my camera, your screen will go black. And it'll show the search term in big white letters like that. As I say, hashtag 88, 04 for the month, 16 for the date in that month, and 24 for 2024, the year you'll be searching in. And as I said, combine that with anything else, it'll pull up anywhere where I have posted publicly on the net. And since Google indexes almost everything that is posted publicly on the net, you'll be able to see anything that I search on any particular day. I've used this religiously since the first of this year. I've used it previously, but not in a, you know, consistent pattern. Uh, and that's basically everything I've got to cover for today. Um, if you've got any questions, be it on genealogy, technology, or basically pretty well anything, I'm happy to answer any questions. Just leave a message either on the uh, 
for me to board here on the channel or a note under one of the videos, whatever. You should be aware of two things, though. First, all comments and posts are moderated. That is, they are held in private until I review them. We've had a spam problem. That's how I'm curing it. If you post something I think of is of general interest to the public, I will okay it, and others will be able to see it. If you post something of a private nature, I'll send the answer privately. Uh, and there's one exception to that, and that is on the YouTube channel here. I will not be answering any questions concerning Google or any Google product. If you have those type of questions, go over to the Google Help Centers and the Google Product Forms. Post your question over there. I do ask that for two reasons. First, it keeps all the Google stuff that I do in one place so that people don't have to look at various places to find out what I've done. Second thing is you'll probably get a much quicker answer because over there, there are people posting day and night answering questions and stuff. You don't get to talk to people. There's nobody sitting there waiting for you to answer your questions when you come in. You go over into the Google product form, you type your questions, Somebody comes in and says, oh, I know the answer to that. They type it back to you. They are public forms. So do not include your email address, your birthday, your sign-on credentials. No, no personal information can be posted. Post your question, and that's it. Otherwise... Some other comment come in. She's got personal information in it, and we, as product experts, are instructed that if it contains personal information, we immediately mark it as off-topic. That means you nobody will see your post, except maybe other product experts should they choose to look at it, and most will not choose to look at it as an off-topic subject. Now, if you do post over there about something about Google and you need an answer to and want to come back over here and then post privately under one of the videos, say, Andy, I posted over there, and give me a link to your posting that's over there, I'll be glad to go look at it, give you an answer if you don't already have one. If you somebody else has already answered, I may be able to add a little to it because I am bad to, you know, the product expert in a number of different product areas over there. Uh, and that's about it. I thank you for your support in the past. Look forward to seeing you in the future. And in the meanwhile, have a great Tuesday. We'll see you later.